everybody. Linda Carroll here from my studio, Gather of Great Things. I'm sorry it took me such a long time to get back. I've had what they call a frozen shoulder. And uh, so my movement was pretty limited. And I took some time just to rest my arm and get back into uh, being fit again. So thanks so much for your comments on my last. Um, flip through and for your suggestions and I am thrilled to to be back. I did take some time while I was recuperating to write down some notes and decide which direction the channel is going to take this year and um, I really really appreciate the suggestion from um, Kathleen and from Mrs. C, basically it came from Mrs. C first, to, she challenged me to do a series of collages using only junk mail. And I, I love that because I save junk mail and I have this pile here of some things I'm going to start with. But um, according to her rules that she set, I could use junk mail, anything that comes in the mail that I would normally throw away. I can use clothing tags. Um, I can use things that would normally just be tossed into the trash, like receipts and that kind of thing. Um, and I usually save a lot of those things um, when the mail comes or when I get home from the store. Uh, and even my husband's gotten to the point where he says, uh, does this go and recycle or is it something you want to keep? So um, he's being real supportive of, of this little foray into YouTube land. So, I'm going to accept your challenge, and I'm going to try to put together a series of nine uh, broadcasts that will be based on using only junk mail or things that we would normally throw away in the trash. Um, I think this... Well, I'm going to try to start this next Wednesday. Let me make sure. Let me look at my calendar here. Um, trying to get a little bit more organized than I have been. Yes. Next Wednesday, and I'm calling this Waste Not, Want Not. And, um, and this will be my Eco Collage series and it will I will do nine lessons on Wednesdays uh, and we're going to create junk mail to gems so we'll see how this goes it should be a lot of fun but for next Monday um, I'm going to start a series called mindful Monday and um, the Mindful Monday collages will be uh, guided collages. There'll be a prompt for the collage. And from there, we'll work on um, a collage during, it may take, one collage may take two meetings, but that's okay, I think. And for these collages, I'm going to, um, give you an opportunity to start building up your stash if you want to. Um, I've done a packet and um, I've put it on my Etsy shop, Gather of Great Things, and uh, it's available for download. And it includes a lot of images that are um, transformational, symbols of transformation, and also symbols of rebirth. And the prompt for Monday will be, what do you want to give birth to or rebirth this year? And um, I've 
been thinking about this, doing this series for a while. So, if you want to work along with me, um, gather things together that you feel are symbolic of rebirthing or transforming in yourself that you would like to work on this year. Uh, this particular piece is, is the collage is kind of like um, manifesting what you what you want and what you are want to create in the coming year. Um, the images, and I'm going to switch to the overhead camera, but I'll show you the images that I'm going to use. And I've also started gathering things from magazines and books that I'm going to use. So it's really good to be back, and um, I'm going to switch to the overhead camera. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is the packet on my Etsy shop, and I'm going to put the link down below if you're interested in uh, following along with me when I do my collage, um, or if you just want to look at the images and find some similar images. This will give you a good idea of the type of images I'm going to be using. Um, these are all uh, public domain. They're copyright free. So uh, I usually do quite a bit of time searching for images that are copyright free. But um, this first one is a is a is a poster or chart of feathers and birds, and the feather is a symbol of transformation. There are also peacock feathers in here. Um, that symbolize the eye of God in some cultures. Um, there are pheasant feathers and duck feathers and all, all different colors. I love the colors. And this is printed out on matte photo paper. And when I print my images out, I use a setting of uh, high gloss paper and then the standard print setting, and I found that that gives me the best results. And it's an inkjet printer. Uh, this one is a group of Egyptian borders, and there are lots of examples of the lotus flower, which is a symbol of rebirth in here. So I thought that might, might be interesting to include. I may not include all of these images in this collage. It just depends on what calls to me at the time. This is a poster of different types of eggs, uh, very similar to the eggs I used in one of the 12 Days of Christmas collages. Uh, lots of different sizes, lots of different colors, depending on the palette that you want to use. Interesting shapes and textures, too. This is another poster of butterflies. Um, I love the colors, the variation in colors, and um, well, it'll be a lot of fun. These are really good to practice your fussy cutting skills. I like to cut very close to the edges of my images. Um, I overlap a lot of images and I, I usually don't leave a white outline around my images when I fussy cut. And then this is uh, these posters reduced down to 50%. So you have smaller images. Um, and I usually use these if I'm doing small tags or belly bands in a journal. Um, I would also use some of these images uh, in my collages as well. So I've reduced these down on one page for you. And then this is a 50% reduction. This page, this page, 
and this page from the other full pages in the set. And then I added a group of blue butterflies. And this is the pomegranate and stone totem uh, page with feathers and a different kind of butterfly. The pomegranate is a symbol of uh, Persephone, who was um, the queen of the underworld, but also symbolized spring. Every spring she would leave the underworld and come back to walk on earth and be with her mother and that was in springtime that she would return. So the pomegranate has become a symbol of rebirth. We've talked about totems before um, and feathers. So, and this page has the spiral and a different color butterfly, a lotus flower, which is symbolic of transformation and there are two in this particular kit and then a third one on the reduced size here is a girl being birthed from a lotus flower and then I've also done some words that I'm going to use in my collages and then this page has the snake, which is a symbol of rebirth. The snake sheds its skin and is reborn with um, a new skin. And every time it outgrows its old skin, it bursts out of that skin. Um, and this is just a flower that I, I thought was pretty and worked with the colors, the other colors in the kit. And it kind of symbolized blossoming or opening to growth or those type of things. So this is a set. And I'm going to fussy cut all these out. Um, I'm posting this on Sunday. And I'll be doing the collage on tomorrow, Monday. Um, so... If you're interested, this is a good way to start building your stash. Um, I also have been looking in magazines when I've been searching for other images. This, there's a glare on here, I'm sure. But I found this uh, snake, and I thought it was really, really a pretty. There was a pretty pattern on it. So I tore this one out, and I might go ahead and use this one and you can use images from from catalogs from pattern papers what whatever you want to use is fine so this is what we're going to be doing on Monday on Wednesday I'm accepting the challenge from uh, two of my subscribers Mrs. C and Kathleen Papa Bear, uh, and let's see here. I have lots of uh, junk mail, and this is just a little bit of the uh, junk mail that I've collected um, in the last, oh, I don't know, week or two. Um, these are tags from Christmas time that I kept from gifts that I gave and I some of them had prices on it so I took the tags off of it um, these are the backing for packaging for some craft things that I bought and I have lots and lots of envelopes and this is another tag and this is not junk mail but it is uh, an image from or a paper from a museum that I went to in Maryland uh, it's been a couple of years ago and this was in my stash anyway I've been gathering together junk mail and the challenge is to come up with nine uh, broadcasts 
that are collaged collages only using junk mail so I'm going to start that series on Wednesday this Wednesday um, so and naturally if you can't see it this Wednesday it'll it will be up on my channel but this will be this should be a lot of fun um, usually I use some kind of junk mail in my junk journals um, I also uh, use magazines and book pages and that kind of thing but they requested I not use magazines or book pages I can use things that everybody would have access to in their homes or maybe a trip to the dollar store um, will work um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to create a journal for us to work in or if I'm going to use a dollar store um, uh, copy book I'm not I'm not sure yet where you could have the option either one um, so that'll be this Wednesday and I hope you'll join me for both of these um, series I'm trying to get a little bit more organized this year than I was last year and a lot of new things have um, have come into my mind and thought thoughts that I'm going to uh, start working on and gradually be adding things to to my channel uh, the other day I did video I did make a video um, showing you the collage I was working on unfortunately I thought I had um, turned the camera on and I had not so just really quickly I'm going to show you this it is a collage I started doing the challenge from uh, Marguerite Miller last year and I went back to her website I had finished the ones that I had the list 1 through 20 and I printed out the rest of her collages and what she does is she gives you items to find and then create a collage from those items and I love this number one I didn't create think up the items um, number two, it's really fun to look for the items. And then number three, it's really fun to figure out what the collage is saying to me when it is finished. So I'm going to show this to you. Um, I just want to do a really short video today to talk about what we're going to be doing in the future. And I did find one thing I'm going to add to it. But for this collage, I needed to find a sewing pattern, a piece of a sewing pattern, which I did. Something made from wool, which in the background, there's this vintage uh, pieces from the vintage Sears catalog of wool mittens and gloves. A vegetable, and I found this really neat illustration of mushrooms that I like just for texture. At first, I, I didn't even realize they were mushrooms. But, um, and then I needed tea dyed or coffee dyed paper. And that's actually in the background here. That's what I covered up the page with. And then something heart shaped. And here's a heart cut out of a Tisha Moore collage sheet and I just used my heart shaped chomper thing and um, and cut out the heart and I really like like this pattern uh, and I put all the images together and this image in the middle is from the cover of the pattern that I used a piece of and this is actually the first pattern that I ever bought and I made this blouse I was in seventh grade 
in uh, back then it was called junior high school and this pattern piece back here has my name on it we had to write our names on each pattern piece that we cut out um, here's another piece so I wrote my name very sloppily across the pattern pieces and um, as I look back now, I think it's really interesting that what I was imagining when I was 12, I guess, um, when I made this blouse, or 13, 12 or 13, that I ar already saw myself as an artist. And I used this blouse particularly. There were three blouses pictured on the cover of the envelope. And this is the one I chose. So I think I knew at that time that my heart's desire was to be an artist. And indeed, I was lucky enough to stay in the arts field most of my life doing different things, um, teaching, uh, being art director in print shops and newspapers, um, being a teacher from kindergarten all the way up to college, um, mentoring and teaching art teachers, um, working at an arts council, placing artists in the schools. So I've been very fortunate in my, in my career life. And now I'm following my deepest desire and it is to share art and collage with you. Um, so this is the collage I put together. I was very pleased with it. Um, uh, there was a lot of red in here in in the heart. These are strips of Tisha Moore's, uh, one of her other uh, uh, collage pattern pages. Uh, I also found a stamp that says America's Wool on it. I use splatters with um, my distress stains and I think, oh, let's see, 49 dragonflies I was the first person I saw do that. And she usually uses wild honey, but I just, I love the way that looks and kind of pulls things together. I use some washi tape um, in the on the corners of these advertisements. And I have a number of threes in here that help kind of pull the page together and your eyes traveled around the image itself. So I'm also gonna continue these, um, these collages. Uh, some of them I'll work along with you. I'll, I'll do a little um, a little work along or collage with me because I do find them fun and relaxing and I I love the, the treasure hunt to find all these different things that to include in the collages so this little guy was hanging around on my desk and he's it's a head from one of the um, oh let's see which one was it uh, eh, I can't remember. Anyway, it was from the 12 Days of Christmas, and he was just laying here, and I thought, you know, what What would he look like back here? Kind of, kind of peeking over her shoulder. And I think I'm going to add him, just for fun. You know, this isn't my weird and wonky journal, but, um, but I like weird and wonky. And uh, I thought, nah, he's just laying here, hanging around. And I'm going to make use of this little image. And, you know, he's, he's barely going to be visible because I don't use uh, distress ink around the edges very often. Um, because I like the sharp edges. But I thought, I think he needs to be right here, kind of peeking over her shoulder. 
at what she's doing. And I'm sure there is some kind of very deep symbolism there. <laughs> Not quite sure what it is right now, but, um, but I'll probably do a little bit of writing about it. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed just looking at that little, little collage that I did. And I hope you'll come back tomorrow and do my first, um, I'm calling it, um, mindful, no, I'm calling it guided collage. And, uh, it will, the video will be up tomorrow. So I hope you're all having a great day wherever you are or evening, if it indeed is evening when you watch this. Rainy day here at the beach, but that's nice. I, I don't mind at all. So I want to say many, many blessings to you all. And uh, I'll see you again really soon. Bye for now.